This is it. It's time to say farewell to Pulse. It is? It is. Okay, then. Kind of weird how the whole game you kind of wait for the moment you get to Pulse and now we're kind of sick of it. Hey, hey, wait, wait, no I recognize that music. Come day of wrath, O oh Pulse the Sea. Hey, is she just quoting the lyrics? Embrace thy faith, yes, she is. Thine home to wow. Subtlety. So fallen souls might bear our plea to hasten the divine's return. Oh, Admittedly, you would not know that these are the lyrics to that song because the actual lyrics are in Latin, so. Also, speaking of subtlety. Deliver the divine. Ragnarok. What? Sarah. Oh, yeah, by the way, Sarah's here. Please ignore the ominous glow surrounding her. So, uh, I, I guess she got away from the cavalry. I don't it quite know how me. that happened, considering her falci is dead, but you know, details. Saz isn't asleep. cool with this. I knew what was happening. I kept trying to think of a way to save Cocoon. Together. Sarah? <gasps> Even slow is seeing through it. <laughs> you get it now. There are no gods with miracles to save us. No matter where you look. That's why we have to call one. Destroy Orphan. We'll save the world. Stop it! He's not even trying. You can't do no. That. You love me too much. You do, don't you, Claire? <gasps> Enough already. This whole fucking game, she's been going by lightning, and her name is the most normal of the entire fucking bunch. And the result of that. I'm pretty sure it's a French joke. It is, it is actually. Like her her name in Japanese is Eclair, which is French for lightning, except that's the name of a pastry, so they changed it to Claire for the English release. I think I should they should have kept it. Yeah, it's close enough anyway. I don't know, Claire exact it's a fine name. Oh, yeah, as a, as a, as a plot contrivance, I can live with it. I just think that they made far too big a deal of Oh my god, we're casually dropping her name. Aren't you guys excited to find out about this? We're gonna act like it's not a big deal, but it's really obvious that we consider this a big deal and so should you. Why does Persandalus know her name anyway? I would presume that when you are the Pope and, I guess, technically the more or less the de facto ruler of Cocoon, you kind of get in, you get access to that information whenever the hell you want it. I guess so. Something, something, NSA jokes. Reigns? He's alive? Uh, wait, hang on, what? Reigns? I thought we... Didn't we see him turn into crystal and then teleport him away in a flash of light that made it very obvious that he was definitely dead? We'll see our friend as nothing more than a traitor to their cause. I could have sworn I saw that. Say the got to <laughs> Something like that happened, yes. Yeah. And imagine when I spread word that it's orphan tugging. Okay, so let's let's just make sure we got the whole plan here. So, so Reigns is now Primarch, and the cavalry will see this as a betrayal. Or perhaps I'll feign so they're going to go attack him and basically start a civil war on Cocoon. That, that's the plan here? Seems that way. I mean, it's a plan. I'm not sure if it's a good plan. I don't know. Well, this is, is pretty good at just being villainous. Yeah. Okay, this looks even dumber than the first time around. Come on, Marty, really? Yeah, what what is what is with that stuff between his face and his shoulders? What the fuck is that? Come on, come on, dude. It's like you're not even trying this time. Oh Jesus. Alright, so Barthandalus, round two. Uh this time he does not have anything like Destrudo or 
really anything of note to do a serious amount of damage. Okay. He'll poke you with his lasers, and later in the fight he'll start throwing around daze and pain and fog. And that that's really all he has! That doesn't sound very hard. It, it's not. This is way easier than the first time you fight him. Doesn't even have any magnificent asshole gimmicks like resetting his stagger casually. Um... There is one point at which he'll do that. And we're gonna burn through... Well, actually there's two. We're gonna burn through both of them in this first stagger. Oh, well, okay. Hey. Yeah, so, uh... As you do damage to him, he, uh... His, his heads pop up. And they're still doing their stupid animation. I like to imagine that they're actually singing the background music. So, where is last time? So yeah, this is it. Now that his face has appeared, he's, he resets his stagger. That's it. That's all it is. At this point, it's just a fair fight to the end. So... Basically, last time we fought him, he had all of the shit attached to his face and we broke it off. And then this time he starts without any of the shit, and as we murder him, it breaks it on? I mean, it makes more sense from a game design perspective, but... Oh shit, I'm getting my ass kicked, better put up some armor. So yeah, I hope you like days really like Daze, because he sure as hell does. It's just a shame he doesn't seem to ever do anything while you're dazed. Yeah, if you, uh, if you have foul liquid on hand, you should really make use of it in this fight. Oh yeah, you can use items while dazed. Yeah, otherwise you will end up with this and your whole party will be dazed for quite a long time. And here's me forgetting that Renew does not cure debuffs. Whoops. Oh, I guess it could be like... It's a, it just seems that the, 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 the days thing here is just kind of glorified time-wasting, really. It, it is! It really is! He doesn't do anything! The only dangerous attack he has is Thantosian Laughter, which is basically unchanged from the first time. Yeah. I guess if you somehow manage to get to this point while not having ludicrous levels, then the days thing could be a threat in that it could stall you for long enough for him to do the bullshit Final Fantasy XIII Doom routine. Possible. I mean, I guess I guess it should be noted that yes, we are hella over leveled. Like we are at like I have all of the nodes completely hit on everyone's main jobs at this point. Like all the level 9 stuff? Yes. Hell, do we have the level 9? No, we get we get level 9 from the, from this fight. So we're, everyone's at full level 8. Yes. And then, plus a bunch of side stuff. Cool. Have you gotten Hope Commando yet? Hope's had Commando for a while, dude. I really was not paying attention when you did that. Or possibly you did it off camera and never told me. Yeah, this is about the point at which I decided I just don't give a fuck anymore and I'm going to damage race him down. Yeah. Yeah, the blitz seems to be working okay. So many numbers. It's alright. Fang went down. We still got this. Let's First, we're going to try and revive lightning. That's, that's not going to work out so well, but... It's alright. Said, still got this. I love his blitz animation, it's just, he, he looks like he's starting up to try and do a big animation, I mean, it's just like, nah, just spray guns. So yeah, there we go, that was it. Oh, that was underwhelming. Yeah. Hey guys, still not dead. The time has come. Still can't actually kill me. Allow yeah, the fight was really pointless. Invitation. To save a people beyond salvation, there is only Ragnarok. 
Yeah. That was a nice trick. This is an old trick. I don't think it's intended as a trick this time. I think it's a pretty explicit get on the fucking ship and get to Cocoon, because it's going down with or without you. So, let me get this straight. We were starting out tasked with destroying the world, but we didn't want to. And then they tried to find a way to not destroy the world. Then they decided to go along with it. Then they decided to not go along with it, and that they were going to go all fuck the police and fight. And then they kind of gave up on that. And then they went to Pulse to look for a way to free themselves from their fate. And now they've given up on that, and they're now going back to Cocoon to do... This is the end of the rainbow, What? Huh? Ostensibly, at this point, we are going to go back to stop the cavalry from ki destroying Orphan. No, I don't remember this being here before. I guess it's new, huh? Yeah. Also, this is must be. really fucking transparent. I suppose it might be a record of what happened. I mean, they just literally yeah. plunked down a thief stone identical to all the other ones. Well, this is this isn't just any thief stone. Yes, it is. This is THE Seath Stone. What does that mean? This is the f This is... I don't know why this has any... I mean, it doesn't have any bearing to this cutscene at all, but this is the Seath Stone of the final hunt in the game. Cocoon, where the slayers of Lindsay dwell, is the enemy... Who the fuck is Lindsay? ...fostered by Pulse's sacred hand. Now you haven't so been paying attention to the cosmology to either? What? And gave them a focus. Okay, yeah, I guess we did, well, we totally did skip over that, didn't we? It's, it's really easy to skip so over it. Did it ever happen? Well, if you've been reading the data log, ah. the, the analects go over a lot of this, but the gist of it is basically that Pulse obviously is the god of Pulse, he sculpted the land and all that shit. Lindsay is the patron god of Cocoon. Curse his name. And the goddess said, hey, that sounded significant. The rest upon Cocoon will reawaken, however long they may wait. And Ragnarok will rise again so, to tear the land from its Basically, seat. this is a transparent plot dump. Her word oh, it's, this is a very transparent absolute. plot dump. And I mean, that, that green thing was literally partially see through. Guess the jig is up. Ugh. Cocoon's done for, isn't it? Hey, don't sweat it. If we go ahead and smash Cocoon, you know some make a sure to roll up and save the day. <laughs> even, even for Saz, as long as Faust that was a strange this fight sentence. This never gonna end. So let's finish it. Let's get Dysley. So what do we do about Orphan? We help Orphan. What else can we do? If we can manage to keep it safe, another war breaks out. Oh, I, I, I lost track of this, I'll be honest. No, it's no, Lightning, no, we went over this. If you destroy Cocoon, that is what Barthandalus wants. So we're going to go to Cocoon and Lightning. not do anything? You told me on we're going to go to Cocoon mm -hmm. to protect it's Orphan, question of can or except can't. Lightning wants to destroy Orphan. We just do it. That's our only choice this time. And now hope is enabling her. Maybe it won't do much. Maybe only one person will listen to us. But even then, well, I mean, trying she was enabling nothing. him earlier, so. <laughs> when the fuck did <laughs> hope become the guy who makes corny motivational speech? Okay. Kids have gone crazy. Revolutionaries always get cold crazy. <laughs> do we really want to be a revolutionary in this case? When I was on Cocoon. I no, maybe? I don't... I have no idea. It's like there are like four I different people talking about different... Like they're going time. to do a thing, but those four people's definition of but the I thing they're going to do is all totally different! So... Wishes aren't enough. Prayers either. How are we going to protect Orphan? Does it involve... No matter what. Fighting our way towards it. it takes losing everything to make you see how much that you have would to fight for. 
makes sense. We, we, we have to fight our way towards to Orphan right. so that we can stop the cavalry who are already <laughs> going there. Well, funnily enough, that's the exact same thing we would have had to do All if right, we were then. going to kill Orphan. Let's tie up loose ends. <laughs> okay. Right. All right. Yeah. Funny how that works. There's something bugging me about this. Ah, oh, it's fine. Just go along with it. So, uh, yeah, like I said, this is the final seat stone in the game. We will be back for that in a long time. Not that long a time, actually. I mean, the actual capital E end is in sight here, guys. Oh yeah, and this is the point of no return prompt. I mean, you can come back, but not right away. Yeah, we won't be able to come back Even until chapter 13, shadows, which is basically up. halfway through the final dungeon. So, yeah, your, your chances are basically right before the final boss and the in the post game. Left. So, like, when once you've got once you've got to Maybe the end of chapter 13, you actually are like respectably powerful, so you can come back and do a few more hunts. But there's, I'm pretty sure there's some stuff that's not feasible until the actual post-game. But hey, if you know what you're doing, you can get, you can set things up so you can get some real good EXP grinding out of the final dungeon. So yeah, this is it. It's back to Cocoon, and we are headed for the March on Endgame. We will see you guys next time. Wow. That thing was really pretty and I have no idea what the fuck it was. What the fuck was that thing? I, I can only presume it was a portal of some kind. Who even knows? But we were flying directly towards Cocoon and there was a giant gaping hole in it. Because the portal will take us straight to Eden, or something, or... fuck, I don't know.